Hey. hey! Welcome. It's been a while since we had a vlog where it was just a single day trip, but here we go. We're going we to go Talladega. To Talladega. Boys raise up. I feel uh, like he's going to start singing that song all the way there. No, I can't. I can't risk a copyright, so. No, I said sing it. You think it'll do copyright for you singing? Yeah, because I'm very good at singing. Yeah, it's so close. I'm, I'm very yeah. accurate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> but hey, we're going to Talladega. Alex Bowman is going to go get the victory today. Uh-uh. Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott is going to push Alex Bowman to the victory today. Uh, Chase is going to come home a good second place, you know, so good job to Chase Elliott today. But uh, Alex Bowman has got this one in the bag. He almost won Las Vegas last time he did that. He went out and dominated Auto Club. So, going to do that again. I'm going to be there to see it. Okay, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it's somebody good. Fingers crossed. Um, no, no, so far when we no, went to... Watch me be sad when it's like, oh, here's Clint Boyer. He wins. Well, I mean, that would still be cool. I it mean, would be cool. Me and him has been to uh, Talladega now twice. We went in spring of 2017 and fall of 2018. We've seen uh, Ricky Stenhouse get his first win. Mm -hmm. We saw Eric Omarola get his... I guess last win, if his you want to. second win, yeah. Yeah, second win, which has been his last win so um, far. So I, we've seen some cool winners so far. And I was at this race last year. I did not vlog. I was with uh, two of my managers at the car dealership I used to work at. Um, but unfortunately, we had to leave. Uh, obviously, because rain hit in, and you know we kind of knew the race is not going to be finishing up that day. But today, it looks as though we've got clear skies in Talladega. About a high of 75 degrees should be good Ooh. weather for racing. So we're excited about that. We got three hours and 40 minutes to get to Talladega Super Speedway. Probably a stop for some breakfast along the way, but let's get going. And we get to meet up with some of YouTube buddies oh, later yeah. on. All my buddies, all my buddies. Slap no, shoes. not all your buddies. You're missing a couple, but okay, most most of my buddies. Slap shoes, Jared, you name it. All right, but let's get going. All right. All right, we have reached a stop in our journey where we can have some Cracker Barrel. Give me food. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry too. Just I'm not gonna do that, man. <laughs> well, hey, I've been the one who's been driving all morning, I've so been sleeping. I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat. We've got our orange juice and our water, and waiting on our food. Now, unfortunately, there is no little uh, game anymore. There's none of that little uh, like little pegboard game anymore because of COVID. So. That's one thing that's changed about Cracker Barrel. You can't have that no more. So, bummer. We just got to sit here and wait. Like these little kid size orange juice cup. I guess that's what a regular's like. And I guess a large would have been this. Yeah. yeah. But we can always order more if we want. That's true. We got good food coming though. Yes, yeah, good food. Now, that is a breakfast right there. Three eggs, hash brown casserole, and a steak. A good juicy steak to start the morning off. And then she's got some bacon, eggs, country ham, hash browns, fried apples. I've got some fried apples coming. We got our soft, we got our biscuits and some gravy. Well, you did them backwards. Biscuits and gravy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is quite the breakfast right here. Randy, turn off the camera. Okay, bye. All right, I'm stuffed. Left a little bit. That's a little too much eggs for me. One more biscuit remaining. And uh, she ate all hers. She's, she's clean plate cub. I am, for once. Penny's always the clean plate fellow. But yeah, let's get loaded up and head onto the track. We're about 45 minutes away, so we'll be there very soon. Talladega, here we
Tell me if I'm wrong, is this the Jelly Stone yeah, race version? Uh, it yeah, looks just like it. Yeah, that's from, uh, that's from Ruin America when I got punted when I was leading with two to go. It's unfortunate. Yeah, uh, really unfortunate. So there's lots of things to see here and actually go fast racing to set up with the Trump car and Corey LaJoy is actually over here doing some social distancing pictures of everybody, uh, signing some hero cards. Like he's kind of standing in the background of pictures. So that's pretty kind of interesting how that's going to change things up. I brought these, all right? We didn't eat these at the tailgate, so I had to bring them. No coolers, no bags. So they've got some of the official merchandise haulers over there. And then here we have some people kind of set up to do tailgates. Um, social distancing. Might have been more at Bristol, but uh, that's what it is. Yeah, I like that final. I like that metal for $20. I'll yeah. show you what I got. But, so I got, you know the, you know the old metal rubber wheel uh, 164 so die cast ones? Yes. The really nice ones. Yeah, I have a few deals. I got a Dale Earnhardt cast metal one. 2000. Walking around here at Talladega, going up to the haulers, and uh, yeah, lots of lots to look at here at Talladega. Lots of haulers out here, lots of things to see and do. Now let's head into the race. Jake. Hi. You excited to watch some racing? I am. Give me your picks for today. Uh, let's go for an upset. Yeah, kind of, kind of like a medium upset, Tyler Reddick. Definitely, uh, it's a definitely a track that like he can win at, and it's definitely a track anybody can win at. All right, there you go, folks. He, he just said Alex Bowman gonna win today. What? <laughs> Woo! Because the mask comes off. Yeah, oh. keep, keep, keep it tight there. <laughs> Roll, tap. Uh, okay. Good. She's gonna, she's gonna go for it. I'll hold your shit. Oh, you're recording the whole conversation. That's nice. Yeah. We at two are people who need to shit test. Hey, you, guys, that guy, hey you guys want the virtual experience? It's sloppy underscore Joe on Twitch. There we go. I just put my phone. This is the true NASCAR experience right here. It is. <laughs> you know, as, as too the, many wings. The, the men have to hold the stuff of their women as they go to the bathroom. This is mine. What are you talking about? This is from the Whitney Dillon collection, dude. I'll just I mean, be like, hey. Come on. I'm single. Let's give it up, ladies and gentlemen, here to perform our national anthem. Tickets are pretty nice. We're right here at the top of this tower, right on the front row of it. So nothing really obstructing our view except for the fence. Except for people going to walk through. Well, they won't be going through all the time. So. And there's way less people here. Although the damage may be minimal for him, he comes to a harmless spin down the inside of the apron. Tyler Rennick grabs it here and continues. Well, that didn't take very long. <laughs> Truex Jr. comes back, 
right in the middle of turns three and four, side by side for seven. And Hamlin by himself at the front of the field. They're stacked up double wide from the second spot on back. Inside lane, that is being led by Kurt Busch, trying to get a finger alongside the And the pancake car has pancaked the wall. So once they pass the start finish line, I fully expect him to make the left hand turn and go down to the front of the nose of Mark about because Corey and Joy not able to get up to speed as we drop the green flag. shuffled out of line. He's a little further back on the low side. Outside lane now being led by Kevin Hart. Unbelievable racing now. This has oh, yeah, big 
Pick it up. So, Rant here with the iceberg. We are sitting in the front row of this section of Child Egg Attack. And we're further oh, down than the other rows behind yeah. us would be further they, they down. Are, they are a little bit above us. Yeah. And we did not ask to be sit here. We were randomly placed here by Child Egg Yeah. When we had actually been over in the far grandstand higher up. Yeah. We were just over the Long story short, we were just threatened to be kicked out of here. We're standing during the exciting end of the thing. Two to go in the stage. And we were threatened to be kicked out of here. We're standing. I want, I want an explanation. And the people behind us, they said it's no issue, it's no issue. Yeah. I, they need to explain now. And we got people, we got people behind us that are standing, and they don't say anything to them. No. It's absolutely ridiculous. I am, I have never been to a race before where they don't let people in the front row stand up. Like, they need an explanation for like, this. That's just what you do when it's exciting, you stand up. A lap and a half to go, they're four and five wide, and they're expecting us to sit down like we're in freaking communist China and just sit there and do nothing. Like, I get we're social distancing and all, but you're telling us not to stand. Yeah. Watch, they're going to pin us out next for not wearing masks, also, and then I'm going to Even though the entire place has had it as optional this whole damn day and ride our seats outside. Yeah. I will say that, like, and, like, be happy we even have our mask here and where we can put on, because most of the play players, they're not. Back, Jimmy who hit Kurt, and then Kurt goes flying into the air. When they not or go to 2020 census dot gov from Talladega Super Speedway. So uh, we're in for a long red flag at the moment because they're having to fix the safer barrier. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, they're showing the replay right now. I understand why they're fixing it. It's nuts. Like they happened right in front of us, and the way he went up, I honestly God thought he was going to the catch track. So it's probably better that he didn't. But holy Jesus, it's scary. Yeah. This package produces some great super speedway racing, but some horrible crashes too. We get ready for the free flag. Already seen a lot of attrition, but we'll see how this one plays out from here on out. Into the Geico restart zone they come, green flag. Oh, he's oh, 
Now trying to make quick work of Martin Truex Jr. It didn't work. He We're needs good. the field in turn three. And in turn one is Tyler Reddick. The field makes the way back to the strike. Seen as the major thing of Madison Bennett. Oh, man, they are racing at the front of the field. Crossover over by Tyler Reddick. Pulling after the race. It's Martin Truex Jr. And they are racing back to the green and white checkered flag here at Talladega. Stage two is over. Who's going to get there first? Truex looks like he will beat Brad Kozlowski to the line. Sometimes this strategy works. Sometimes it doesn't. You never know what you're going to get from Talladega. Not one. Yes. 
with this without a push. Chase Elliott did on that bottom side. Joey Logano tries to get a side draft, nothing doing there. Chase Elliott, your new leader, tell it in. Joey Logano has left 35 laps. Chase Elliott, 33. Who's going to lead lap 157? Literally side by side. Jones tried to go down there, he got shuffled out, but Chase Elliott is trying to make this happen, yes. not all by himself, but with greatly reduced drafting numbers in the outside lane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah they come up off turn four to the triangle, they come again, Chase Elliott on the bottom side of the racetrack, and he's got a good six point. This inside lane can get, you do have a handful of cars that are in the middle, and right now Chase Elliott just shoving Bubba Wallace all the way up to the Bubba Wallace to get in front of the fast machine of Chase Elliott. Here is Bubba Wallace challenging Ryan Priest for that third position. They're side by side on turn four. Trying to pick up even more ground here. Bubba Wallace not able to leave that low line forward. Denny Hamlin is not making any progress. He's all by himself on the bottom of the racetrack, about 10 car lengths behind this building inside lane, which is led by Bubba Wallace. Back in turn three. Bubba Wallace has faded just a little bit. He was vying for the third spot. Now he's side by side with Alex Bowman. That would be for spot number six. So now Wallace is getting a little bit more help from Chase Elliott. Bubba Wallace takes one for the little star. 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 Absolutely side by side, wheel to wheel. Bubba Wallace and Joey Logano. It's Wallace down low, Logano up high with Ryan Priest behind Logano. Take a note at what Mike Bagley just said. Brad Keselowski no longer on the rear bumper of his teammate. That may be the difference of the race because Brad can push. Now, <laughs> Chase Elliott phased just a little bit, side by side with Ryan Priest for third. Careful there, Joey, careful. No help from the to go. Bubba Wallace on the outside lane. He's the rips leader. He's got traffic. Let's go, Bubba! file formation in that top lane. Martin Truex Jr. being followed by Alex Bowman. Here comes the mini one by Chase Elliott. Oh, oh! They may be in front of the field. Could this be a history making day? Oh, Chase Elliott's going to be stuck. Here comes the fourth to the Oh, no! Let's go to Benedetto! I want to see you finally win! Here we go. Legato on the inside. He pops the throttle. Go, Matty D!
going to get it by way of a, a review. What I love about Denny is he knows I, uh, when to bail out, but you just said it a moment ago. I think, we I think that Denny Hamlin wasn't forced. I think he chose to go down there. Which is a little car straightened out, in my opinion. I think Matt DiBenedetto should have won this race. Great to the 
inspection guard that's all I'll say. Pray to the inspection guard. I hate it for this Benedetto. Again. Again he loses this man. I hope he can get a ride next year. Oh come on, you were you were sad when that man won in Bristol. Yeah, that was before my girlfriend was a man to Benedetto fan. Oh, okay. Well, okay. No, a Denny Hamlin fan, I should say. Yeah, but it's funnier when I control people. Okay, okay. Anyways. Boo, Hamlin, but like that like Matt Benedetto. This crazy finish, so I haven't even been able to really, really process it. Um, yeah, just, just really want to get to see Victory Lane, uh, you know, Menards, Tuscany, Fawcett, Tuscany. Oh, sorry, the emotions from, uh, God, I feel like it's the same story. A lot of times, just heartbreak. Um, my, my wife and I have had a stressful week uh, again. <laughs> You know, there's not uncertainty. Fighting, I man, all careers fight for another. If I'm so appreciative of this team, the Wood Brothers, I want this hundred point for Wood so bad. Our alliance with Team Penske is forward. I mean, I appreciate them putting me in this car. It's so much fun. Woo! Dave Don Boo, holy cow. But no, I mean, I mean, he deserves all the support in the world. He's, he's an incredible. Racer, he was my biggest threat. I tried to block what I could. My spotter Doug did a great job. I just uh, oh, this is tough. And now we work our way out of Talladega Super Speedway, and uh, Claudia, you, we just have so many emotions after that race. Yeah, like I told Danny, it's like the Bristol and Daytona 500 smashed into one. You got. Denny Hamlin and Matt Benedetto competing for, okay. competing for the win. Um, and then it's like the 500 because you had a lot of underdogs there at the end. And then randomly, Denny Hamlin. Highlights are up. And what do you know what happened? And it's so weird, like, ironically enough, this is now three out of four times, well, no, three out of five times that we've been to races with this group of people. Oh, yeah. And Denny Hamlin has won. So, yeah, let's stop going to races. And I'm just kidding. Yeah. It's funny, uh, Hamlin hasn't really won much at Talladega before. He's actually won majority of his super speedway races at Daytona. So, That's you know. That's different, because I, I was expecting kind of a uh, Penske driver, you know, yeah. maybe Brad, or maybe Blenny, because he's been good at good here. Yeah. So, that actually kind of surprised me that it was Denny, like you said. But still, yeah. not, not too thrilled. Not ideal or our favorite, but. He's the winner. So post race, we are live on the Icebergs channel. You probably already watched this Boy, at this point. Cross the streams. Whoa. He's, he's vlogging. Guess what? You're all in my vlog coming out at a date Hi. to be determined. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. <laughs> okay, Danny, needs, you need to edit this in when we do this. We'll just go follow Caterpillar. This is why we really didn't have many friends growing up. We're all socially awkward. Oh, yeah. But we did hit our hundred. I'm actually not focused on you anymore. Okay. I'm still focused on you. I want only. I want to get. Why are I want to get more focused. Focus. On my boyfriend. Well, he was my best man. Oh. Thanks. Oh. Thanks, baby. Oh. I'm gonna say I was just one. <laughs> and shortly after that race in Talladega, we said goodbye to all of our friends. It was nice to meet some fans of the channel. We all reflected on what had happened. We went and had dinner with the iceberg and his girlfriend. And then shortly later, we made that drive back to Tennessee until we meet these guys again. It was a fun one, but in the end, I know now that while Matt Benedetto definitely did not deserve to win, it was clear looking back at the footage, he did block the 24 car of William Byron and sent him below the double yellow line. For that, he was penalized, but... For Denny Hamlin, however, the debate rages on. Did he actually win this race? Or did William Byron win this race? Or Eric Jones? I think that's who got second now. Anyways, that's enough of me rambling. That was quite the race. Glad you guys could be along to join us. And I'll say this. This is probably the most normal race that I've experienced since COVID began. And aside from wearing masks, things felt back to normal. You know, a smaller crowd, but it felt normal. And I think that we're heading in the right direction now. Hopefully next year, COVID will no longer be an issue. But for now, that's been my last race of 2020. The Daytona 500 weekend was checked off this year. The All-Star Race at Bristol Motor Speedway was checked off. And Talladega 2020. And that was my last chance to see Jimmy Johnson race in person. What a memory. It was fun. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.